Any man who would call a tree murderers is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule feast. I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Arshtek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen. Is that what you call your house? Ha! <laughs> Stonebird! Was Trigve not sent there by father to help? We must go! No! <laughs> Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Things. Get to Trukvi! You'll be safe with him! This was my last day on Midgard. Is anyone... anyone out there? Thank you. Thank you. There are others left. We need to get on the other side. Thank you. Move! Move! Get to safety!
Save my wife, please. Leave me be. Not me. My wife. Save her first. I have to move fast. Eivor! Eivor, where are you? Get over here! Billy! Where are you? Answer me! Billy! Where are you? Answer me! To clear a path. I will get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here. Oh, thank thee, all oh, father. <coughs> Hold on to me. I can get you out. I thought I might have to rescue you, Billy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Billy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same ass stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigby. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Billy lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? You braced yourself for what is to come. I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Willie myself. <coughs>
dark days come sit by the heart come here of the tale of the world for the mountains for the sea the flame of the world Bravo you found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts had worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. But look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. Novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You are to be Jarl, Billy. Your father expects it. The people of Snottinghamshire expect it. I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. And you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the Longhouse! I know he at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes.
Hold on to that feeling, and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Aethorn. A warrior and a leader worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Hemingway, y'all. You chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty-haired boy. Swinging sticks and running through the mud. Dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> And I am proud, proud of what you will become, no matter I, uh, I, uh, uh. Father, Vili. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. Nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village.
Good. It's a draw. This has never happened. Hmm. What about the tall one? Can we ask her to help break this tie? Good idea, Froda. Tall one, sit by the hay side if you vote for the woods. For the river, the side with the sacks of beans. The answer is clear. We shall play in the woods tomorrow. Aye. Now, on to the next great matter. <clears throat> We need a name for our merry band. The choices are Raiders of the Cake or the Shadow Dragons. Stools on the hate side are for Raiders of the Cake and side with the sacks of beans for Shadow Dragons. Pick your seats. Tall one, you too. Just in case we end up in a tie again. <laughs> It looks like we are tied. For now, tall one, we need your help once more. It is final. We shall henceforth be called Raiders of the Cake. 
I like cake. Cake is delicious. Now on to the next vote. Ahem. What should we do if we manage to capture a picked soldier? Stools on the hayside are for beating him up. Side with the sacks of beans for taking him prisoner. Vote! It looks like we are tied. For now. Tall one, we need your help once more. The seats have spoken. We shall show no mercy. The badge of courage will be given to those who voted as such. You too, tall one. Thank you, children. Remember, never go easy on your enemies. Froda, write that down. The tall one's words will be remembered. Thanks for the help, tall one. The next generation inspires confidence. It's Nottinghamshire is in good hands. Welcome, welcome. Come see what I have. Are you sure there isn't uh, something else you wanted? I will see you later, friend. <laughs> 